There are a lot of pitfalls to dialysis. Uh, first of all, people are tied to the hospital for several hours a week and it takes away from their normal activities. Well, dialysis is uh, kidney replacement therapy uh, for people whose kidneys do not work. People who have kidney failure don't have the uh, ability to filter their own blood and remove toxins that we create just from living and breathing and eating and, and doing our normal activities. But there are a lot of pitfalls to dialysis. Uh, first of all, people are tied to the hospital for several hours a week and it takes away from their normal activities. And uh, people who are on long-standing dialysis usually have skin problems. They can develop kidney tumors in their native kidneys that aren't working. Uh, so there are a lot of um, complications that can occur with long-term dialysis. And renal replacement therapy in the form of kidney transplantation is by far and away the best treatment uh, for kidney failure. One of the things that can happen is something called rejection, where the, the, the recipient's body actually rejects the kidney over time. It can happen immediately, which is very rare, or short term within the first year, which is very rare, or long term over, the, over after five, six, seven years, which is a little more common, but still quite rare. Uh, the overall uh, success rate of kidney transplantation after living kidney transplantation is usually somewhere around 90% at one year and somewhere around 80% at three years. And it goes down after that, but it's still uh, significantly in the positive direction. Uh, but still, people who receive a kidney transplant have to be very compliant with coming back and see their doctor, having their blood tests monitored, and most importantly, taking their immunosuppressive medications that allow the body not to reject this foreign organ that is now inside of them.